Down as the most monumental legislative sessions in a decade. 111 bills passed in the House, 88 in the Senate for a combined 60 bills sent to the governor. Among them, several unprecedented pieces of legislation. Chief political reporter John Croman takes a closer look at what was accomplished. Those in favor, please say aye. aye. The 2023 session was in the rearview mirror for lawmakers hours before the deadline hit. On the House floor, hugs and youthful exuberance from freshmen. They call us the trifecta 23 lucky charm. The list of bills, too numerous to mention in one story, changes long sought by Democrats. And the difference this year was we had a DFL-led Senate. House Speaker Melissa Hortman asserts her party gave Minnesotans what they want. Protecting reproductive freedom, super popular. Paid family medical leave, super popular. Reasonable gun violence prevention measures, super popular. So. We did those things that people have been waiting for the legislature to do for a very long time. We watched our amendments on the floor and committee get voted down over and over and over again without consideration. Republicans, on the other hand, see the session as a reckless spending spree. Well, there's, there's two different ways. Let's say we go into a recession. What, what do we have to do? We either have to raise taxes to support government or we have to start cutting some of the services. We've created an expectation now the government's going to take care of everybody in every situation. It doesn't matter if you're a millionaire or, or if you're lower income. And so we're going to have some real fiscal problems going forward after this session. Democrats are leaving the Capitol with the message that they've done things this session that will transform lives for generations to come. Republicans say they're leaving with plenty of ammunition for the 2024 election to say that we're on the wrong track. In St. Paul, John Croman, Care 11 News.